here, it's here. The Bali Fine Box is here. I've been waiting for this thing for uh, like about two and a half months. And uh, yeah, it's finally here already. Just got a call from the delivery guy and he says that it's Bali Fine Box, which my mom sent out to me. Well, I didn't say that part, but <laughs> anyway, you're about to see. And here it is, the box has finally arrived. Wow, something happened to it. Anyway, would you be able to help me with it to go inside? Still doing the basement, sir. Ah, in the car. Damn it, we have to go through the basement after all. Okay. All right. It's not allowed to take um, delivery like this through the front door entrance. We unfortunately have to go through the basement to the parking lot. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy to be getting this thing. Hello, and thank you for joining me on another one of my lifestyle series videos. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dimitri and I'm an American expat living in the Philippines. Here, I'm going to share with you how my life is going living in Metro Manila. If you find this video entertaining, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And now, sit back, relax and enjoy as I take you on a journey of my daily life as a time-lapse traveler. That's one of the things that you will only find in the Philippines. Welcome to a second ever box opening video, but not any box, it's a Balik Bayan box, so <laughs> this is a sequel to my, from several months ago, uh, Balik Bayan box opening video. My mom put this together for me, uh, from mostly from uh, different stuff that I ordered on Amazon, uh, some stuff that she put together herself, you know, just a, kind of like a, a nice assortment of, of things. So I unfortunately still haven't invested in a decent uh, box opening knife uh, so yeah I know that I definitely need to change that but right now I just have these scissors and it's going to be extra tough because my mom is known for putting together these boxes really well like super solid they can survive a, a, a bomb blast <laughs> but yeah now let's see how I'm going to be opening this thing up it's not gonna be easy it wasn't easy the last time it's not gonna be easy this time either Well, all right then. After a whole great deal of effort, I finally tore this box apart. Uh, my mom used a significant amount of glue uh, to put these panels together uh, to make sure that they stay together. And I'm sure she did the same thing on the bottom as well, but wow, she really did a number on this thing when it comes to durability. Some nice plastic here. Oh, towels. Lots of towels. These are towels that will come in handy in our country home in Tagaytay. Tai the in-laws that's gonna be nice towels and blankets actually it looks like this is all that's in here this one is a little more interesting though oh this is a duck cooker look at this giant thing wow this is huge wow 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 this it's pretty amazing huh yeah you could put a big bird in here and cook the whole thing in one shot you just have to find an oven big enough for this <laughs> I already know what's what's in here there's really nothing here besides a lot of bed sheets and towels there's another box coming up soon that will be a lot more interesting so stay tuned for that that's coming up pretty soon all right, well, coming up on the heels of the previous box that was boring, it was just basically uh, towels and bed sheets and stuff like that, not much really to show. I got this box uh, pretty much like the next day later. So I, uh, I decided to spare you the trouble of having to see me open up this box because you already saw how that one worked. It was a kind of a tedious process, but I'm just looking inside it for the very first oh time. Oh my God. Let's see what's in this one. Well, the beginning is not, <laughs> The most exciting is uh, basically another blanket. Uh, it's a blanket that I actually used to use back in New York and um, decided to leave it, but now my mom sent it over here also. So that's cool. It's going to be a nice new comforter that we're going to be putting to use. Uh, of course, it was just being used as a buffer to protect what's really inside. And one of the first things that we see is Game of Thrones Catan, uh, the expansion. I already have uh, the main game which uh, hopefully you've seen the video of that before 
I played it with my family here uh, a few months ago. So with this expansion, we'll be able to have an additional two players for a total of up to six players uh, playing the game of Catan. Uh, so that should be fun. So that's the first thing that we've seen. <laughs> Ooh, halva. Um, this is a really special Middle Eastern treat. Halva in English here and in Russian right here. This is really awesome. Some more halva. Very nice tasty treat. And spices. Oh, this is nice. Wow. Garlic, rosemary, with sea salt grinder. This is gonna be really nice for maybe for my next cooking video that I'll make. And we have two of these. Uh, one is with rosemary, the other one is uh, with different uh, seasonings inside. Oh, wow. My old high school t shirt. <laughs> FDR High School, Paw Power. The Cougars were the, the mascot, so class of 98. Wow, this makes me feel old. <laughs> oh, this thing is oversized. I mean, it was always way too big for me, and plus I used to be a little chunkier back in high school. I slimmed down since then, actually, so this thing is way oversized for me now. <laughs> what is this? Must have been something that I ordered on Amazon. Still doesn't ring a bell. Oh wow, okay. This is um, accessories from a camera. A floater uh, that I can attach my camera to so I can take it in the water. Chest strap, different mounts, wrist strap. This could come in pretty handy. A clip mount. I got this in a, for a really good deal. I believe it was something like uh, $30 for all of this. Suction cup mount, selfie stick, head mount to put on the top of a hat or put it on top of a helmet. Um, handlebar mount, an extend, extender mount. Really nice. I'll be looking more through this later. Very cool. And the case itself is also nice, actually. Very cool. Oh wow, this is another blast from the past. Hope there's another one like this. <laughs> My old rollerblades that I got actually about 20 years ago. And they still survive. Looking forward to taking these around the neighborhood. Nice. Oh man. More sea salt. Very cool. Uh, this kind of salt seems to be kind of difficult to find around here in the Philippines. Rock sea salt like this, so. My mom sent me a whole bunch of these. That's cool. Uh huh. This is a really nice condiment. The Russian mustard. This is some hardcore stuff. Very similar to Chinese mustard. Very spicy. Zakusan. Joshina Garchitsa. Gourmet mustard. Very nice label. I like this. And then coming from the same brand. Zakuson, horseradish mayonnaise. Also kind of spicy. Ooh, I can't wait to have this with the next meal. And to round out the set, last but not least, also Zakuson. This is plain old horseradish. It's also pretty spicy. Love this stuff. I used to have this a lot back when I was in Ukraine, growing up over there. But yeah, this kind of stuff you just can't find around here. So what do we have here? Oh, wow. Now, this thing is actually even older than I am. Oh my god, I haven't seen this thing for so many years. My mom was holding on to it and she figured that I should uh, hold on to it as an inheritance. Very nice, this really takes me back. This is my, uh, my father's old army belt from when he was uh, serving as an army officer in the, the Soviet Red Army. I remember playing with it when I was little. It's funny, it's a little Ziploc that's, that's made from the same material as a serious garbage bag, but it's a Ziploc in there. Oh yeah, these are uh, kind of like a kind of wrist straps that uh, when you wear it, there's like a, a knob that presses on your on your wrist and that actually helps 
uh, to prevent you from getting uh, motion sickness. These actually work really well. So if you're if you're having like some kind of nausea or something like that, uh, when you wear these uh, wrist straps, uh, then this really does work very well. I tried it myself, and uh, the people have tried it as well, and they they work really really well. This is uh, also like a door guard uh, that has like an adhesive on top and uh, just clear plastic on the bottom. This one I'm actually going to use for the front door right over here because there's also a crack underneath uh, and uh, this will prevent the cold air from uh, coming out like when the air conditioner is on. Oh my, wow, she really loaded us up with uh, pink Himalayan salt. This is so good. Uh, I'm going to be loading up the, the salt grinder with this one. It's gonna last a while. How much is in here? Two and a half pounds. Very cool. What is this? Total indulgence. Oh wow. Hot chocolates and cappuccinos from crazy from crazy cups. They deliver intense taste you just can't get from a single serve brewer. And that's a whole bunch of packets of dark chocolate. Wow, that's nice. I love this. I wonder how this compares to the Swiss Miss dark chocolate that we have over here. Oh, my mom is just spoiling us with this because it's not one, but two boxes like that. Look at this. Second one. And then peanut butter. Of course, yeah, we do have peanut butter here in the Philippines, but Philippines and New York no! are a lot cheaper than what's available here. Skippy, creamy peanut butter. This is really good stuff. And there are two of those. Oh, more peanut butter. Third one. Next. Oh, we have lids for uh, cans. Yeah, I remember ordering this one. So this one you put on top of, a, of an open uh, can and this seals the lid so that um, the fizz doesn't come out and the, it, it's basically kind of like reclosing or resealing uh, the can. So that's really cool. And this is actually for my brother-in-law, Takinoko. It's a board game that uh, he asked me to get for him. So here it is, uh, because things like that are way cheaper in the United States than to order here. Hopefully at some point we're gonna get to play this here as well. Oh, here's the expansion for Takinoko. It's uh, kind of like the expansion for the Catan Game of Thrones, so that you can play with more players. This will be really cool if we get to play over here with the family. And next we have Careful Thermometer. I have a feeling I already know. This is the same kind that we used to use back in, uh, in Ukraine actually, with mercury. Not something you'd find uh, commonly now. It's actually German made. What do we have here? Oh wow, look at this. It's an old portrait of me when I was little. I was about uh, 12 or so in this photo, maybe even 11, I'm not sure. Uh, this was taken either in Philadelphia or Boston. It's another thing I'm not sure about. I was actually asking my mom about this, this picture and uh, neither one of us could remember which city this was taken in. Oh, this one really takes me back to my childhood. <laughs> Can't believe that haircut. Yeah, this is, this is how my, my mom used to cut my hair all the time. You guys should check out my uh, haircut video that I made on the balcony over here recently with a friend of mine that cut my hair. Next, what is this? Oh, okay. Nice big blanket. This is nice. Wow, I like this one. Really good quality material with tassels. That's cool. All right. Oh, check this out. This is an awesome frying pan with a ceramic coating. Uh, it's actually much better than Teflon. So cooking on this is going to be a pleasure because the frying pan that I'm using now it's kind of scraped a little already, and when I cook on it, the food just kind of gets stuck. But this one, it slides right off. You can you can actually cook an egg on this without needing any oil or anything, and it just like slides right off. 
awesome. Next we have buckwheat. This is so cool. Buckwheat is not even available here in the Philippines at all from what I could see. It's three dollars per bag. Two, two pound bags each. This is a very good replacement for rice. It's actually a lot healthier than rice. Next we have, oh my, not one, but two bricks of dark chocolate. This is a uh, one pound each, 70% dark chocolate. Wow, this is awesome. I love this. Chocolate is a lot cheaper in the US than here. So <laughs> my mom has been sending us these. Oh, next we have some more photos. It's been a while since I've been looking at photos on that are printed on paper like this. Wow, this is my mom and my stepdad when they were younger. Very cool. I'll be looking through these later. Oh, look at this. This is when I was uh, in my late teens at my mom's house. See this? See this uh, artwork over there on the walls. My mom actually drew all that. She likes to cover her walls with the uh, art that she paints. Wow, look at this, look how beautiful. This is my sister, when she was younger. My sister, Elena. Okay, so I'll be looking through these later. Some, oh, look at that, my grandparents on my mother's side. They're both gone by now, unfortunately. My grandfather actually just passed away just a few months ago. He was 97. And my grandma, my babushka, she passed away about like three and a half years ago. Yeah, my grandma was 95 when she passed away. Where are the cards from my mom and from my stepdad? And from my grandparents. Back from 2004 and 2008. That's nice. More birthday cards. A birthday card from my sister. Yeah, that's why there's, oh, there, there's the year. Usually it's on the back, on the bottom. It's from 2007, when I was 27 years old. Yeah, my sister doesn't really write cards that often, so this is really nice. Another one for my 27th birthday. When I turned, I turned 27 on May 27th in 2007. From my grandparents. Another one from my mom, when I turned 21. More photos. Oh wow, look at this. It's my college graduation photo. And there's negatives inside. Oh, this is a picture of, uh, I think I was 16 over here. This is when I got my first computer when I was 16. So it's a Pentium 1, 150 megahertz computer. 16 megabytes of RAM with a two gigabyte hard drive. Still remember those specs. With a 28.8 kbps modem, even before 56k. Oh, these are from my modeling days. Huh. That's fun. Yeah, I used to do a bit of modeling uh, when I was in my late teens. Or actually, no, when I was about 20 years old or so. Oh, here's a throw, like a small blanket that uh, Chris was using as a shawl when we were visiting Pennsylvania. So my mom let us borrow this, but now she's actually giving it to us to keep. That's cool, very nice. And some kitchen towels, a whole set of yellow kitchen towels made in India. Yeah, these are nice, they'll come in handy. Wow, that's cool, I remember buying, ordering these on Amazon. Two boxes of AA batteries. The value is so good to buy these on Amazon, so. I know that they're definitely gonna come in handy. And I'm going to be sharing these over here with the family. Nice, we have more buckwheat. You can never have enough. This really lasts a long time. I mean, it doesn't really spoil. We're going to be enjoying buckwheat for a while. Really healthy food. Coming up towards the end already. Another blanket. This is really nice, another comforter. Thick green blanket, this is so cool. Or it's actually going to be keeping us warm. 
for the air conditioner on. Nice, and that's almost it, but not quite. What do we have here? No, you're not gonna believe it. It's more buckwheat. <laughs> this is a different brand though. Very nice convenient container. A bit more pricey, but this is really good though. And that looks like that's about it. Yeah, that rounds out everything that we have in this box. So, the holiday came early. This is always like, there's also this blanket over here. Uh, but that's basically just a cover. It's like a, a drape uh, that'll come in useful in uh, the country home in Taigai Tai, most likely. Unless there's another use that we find for it. So that uh, pretty much rounds out what we have in this box. Every time that we get one of these Balik Bayan boxes coming from New York, it's always like Christmas comes early, unless it actually lands on Christmas <laughs> by chance. But it's always a, such a nice treat to get this uh, care package. Chris is already putting the, sh the shawl to use. <laughs> and my roller blades. You're gonna see me rolling around on these in, in here in BGC. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is uh, just the second of my Balik Bayan box opening videos. So uh, if you did like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you'll keep getting more videos coming at you from the Time Lapse Traveler.